What is up guys, it's me Corrupt Flame bringing you my Black Ops Knife Only class setup video. Uh, on the screen right now is my actual class setup, my favorite one. Now I will be explaining to you why I pick each thing that I picked. Starting with the primary weapon, uh, the Online 6A1, this does not really matter. Considering you <coughs> sorry, considering you're going knife only and you will not be using the primary weapon. Uh, Something to consider though is when you shoot your second ballistic knife your weapon switches and then you have to switch back to your knives So you can play so I suggest you guys use an SMG as your primary weapon So in case you shoot your second ballistic you can switch back faster I've already mastered the double tap Y method thing, so it's not that much of a problem for me So I'll just use the L96 a one Just in case you know for those times when you just rage so hard that you can't knife only I know guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I failed you. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, second second uh, slot, secondary weapon. When you're knifing, ballistic knives. If not, use a pistol. Any pistol will do. Apparently the ASP has the longest lunge, so when you're using a pistol, please make sure to change your perk setup as well. And I will be explaining into what. Uh, I picked the ballistic knife over the pistol because it provides two ballistic knives that let me that give me more of an advantage against my opponents. I don't just have my ability to knife and two t and my tomahawks to kill them, but I will also have two projectile knives that kill them in one hit, regardless of where they're hit. So that's always something positive to consider the ballistic knife. Uh, and if you don't like that, use the pistol. Otherwise, don't really waste your time knifing unless you're panic knifing, which is what most people do. So, yeah, just saying. Okay, for my first slot, I will be getting to the equipment afterwards. For my first uh, equipment slot, actually, no, I'll be getting to my equipment first. Um, lethal grenades. You're knifing, so use tomahawks. No other option is viable at all unless you're literally going knife only with your knives and ballistic knives and you just want something to prevent you from accidentally tomahawking someone so then you'll accidentally semtex someone actually no so to prevent that from happening use a semtex so you can retract it right right away so if you're going legit knife only air quotes on using only your knife that you use as a secondary weapon use a semtex other than that don't use anything but a tomahawk. Okay, for your non-lethal grenade, you it's really all up to you. But in my opinion, the best option is the concussion grenade because it is fast to throw and it stuns your opponents and it gives you time to either run away or be able to flank them and get a really nice feed. Uh, the reason I don't like the flash is because it takes so long to throw. Uh... And it's really inconvenient if you accidentally flash yourself because it takes so long. So you'll just be there like a sitting duck. No way to spray your, your spray yourself to safety with the weapon and just standing there. So not the flash. Yes, the stun. And the other viable option is a smoke grenade because apparently using a smoke grenade is legit knife only. I, I keep saying legit knife only because I think that's a stupid concept. Uh... So yeah, when you're when you have a smoke grenade, it gives you the opportunity to rush through routes you wouldn't be able to do normally, such as in cracked in the middle of the map, you can just throw a a smoke over the the woolly peat over the little ridge. So when you're getting there, you can just hide into the smoke, get into their building, and be able to get a really nice feed because everybody camps there. So that's just an example. And then for my actual equipment. I use a jammer. It is the best option for any knifer because it has the most utility. It allows you to jam their equipment such as claymores, camera spikes, motion sensors, anything that can get in your way of getting a really nice gameplay or feed. And you can pick it up again and put it somewhere else after you're done cleaning up the place. But make sure you remove the enemy equipment such as the claymores because after you pick up the jammer the claymores come back and then you might accidentally step on one because that's happened to me a lot <laughs> so just remember that uh other viable equipment camera spikes because they allow you to bomb spot better 
But when you're going knife only, that's not really what you're looking for. And they also help you with trick shotting because there's so much faster to pull out and <laughs> pull out. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, but if you don't trick shot or you don't bomb spot, don't use any of that. And either, and apart from those two equipment slots, I don't see anything else viable for a knife only game. So just focus on the jammer or anything else, including the motion sensor. Stay away from it because as a knife, you're trying to rush in and kill people. Okay. For the perks now, finally, yay. Okay. These are very important and they're subject to your type of gameplay, but I will be explaining explaining to you why I pick these over everything else. So yeah. Okay. First perk, lightweight pro. Emphasis on the pro. Okay. With Lightweight Pro, it provides you a 15% movement speed, I believe, advantage, which not only helps you rush in faster, but allows you to get get in close enough to knife your opponent when you're facing in a 1v1 situation. And that those that 15% is extremely important considering that a bullet that a gun can kill you in three in three hits, mostly, from a close range. So those 15 seconds, those, that 15% will allow you to gap close and be able to kill your opponent faster. Um, another viable option is scavenger because if you like spamming your tomahawks, you're going to be able to regain them by, by doing that. Uh, I personally do not like it because it, I won't get that 15% movement speed and it's really inconvenient for me. Because I myself don't spam my tomahawks unless I'm in a panicky situation. And I usually know where to go to pick them back up. So I, I don't, I, I use it on occasion when I'm going tomahawk only, but never when I'm going in a normal life only game. Okay, second perk. This is what can make or break your gameplay, gameplay style. Okay, there's only two viable perks in this situation. Uh, three if you consider sleight of hand but I'll get into that for my second perk slot I suggest warlord pro why warlord because you get two tomahawks I mean you miss one oops throw the other one kill that's so convenient and so great I mean the only thing better than that is another tomahawk or another one or another one <laughs> The possibilities are endless, man! No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, that is extremely convenient, and I love it. The other only vi the only other viable options are Steady Aim Pro, when you're going pistol knife only, uh, because it allows you to cancel your lunge, or not cancel, like, recover from it faster, so you're able to lunge, lunge, lunge. And you guys can't see me, but I was doing the lunge motion with my hands on oh, my dick. <clears throat> what? Mm. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And apart from that, if you don't have either of those pro, do not use either of them. Because Warlord, without it, pro is useless. Same with Steady Aim. So if you don't have either of those, use Sleight of Hand as it allows you to reload your, your ballistic knives faster. And apart from that, nothing else is useful at all. So to the third and final spot again pay close attention to what it is well not really and not not, not in this case specifically this one is really all up to you how you plan on playing in my in my specific situation i like marathon because i'd having i because i hate having to you know re re-click the left stick so i can sprint again and i have to like keep getting tired and it interferes with my rush so all i have to do is put marathon pro rush in the whole time if you don't have Marathon Pro, you can use Ninja Pro because Ninja Pro is extremely useful, especially when you're playing against sound whores. And if they're sound whoring, they're usually using a motion sensor, so you just jam them. Ninja Pro, you, they can't see you. They're like, oh my god, I can't hear them. Oh my god, I can't mo see them with my motion sensor. Ah, and then they die. So that's extremely helpful. <laughs> so those two are plausible. The, any third option that I would consider maybe would be tactical mask so you don't accidentally stun yourself but other than that or so you can't get stunned by them because that's really a pain in the ass also but apart oh or hacker because uh, you won't be seen by their equipment and you'll be able to 
see their claymore so you can jump over them or stun them or something but when you're using hacker you can see they have a motion sensor and they can hear you so they won't see you via the motion sensor but they'll be able to hear you coming so it's kind of it's kind of conflicting with marathon you'll just be able to run in regardless of whether or not they have a claymore or a motion sensor or they sound whore because by the time they see you or hear you coming you're gonna get a bullet off and then you're just gonna you're gonna knife them because you're gonna be straight up in their face so if you guys have any questions whatsoever i know this is late in the game but since black ops 2 is coming out people are trying to get ready for black ops 2 by playing black ops 1 so i think this is a good time to do it i would have done it before and i was trying to do it before but i always got distracted and i never ended up doing it but here it is if you guys have any questions whatsoever do not hesitate to leave a comment or a question or a message anything i'll respond to it and i'll let you know so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and peace out